Hey everyone, I have a quick tip uh, regarding HDR and SDR workflow and REC 2100 and REC 709 footage. So most of the stuff we deal with is REC 709. And, but a lot of these new cameras now, especially the last generations of smartphones, the iPhones, uh, they have some great cameras, but they record in HDR. And that's a much brighter range of value, more color. So what happens is, is when we stick the footage into a 709 timeline, which is what we usually edit in, it looks blown out and crazy, saturated and bright. And a lot of the footage we're going to be getting from now on could be coming from a client's phone that records in HDR. You might see this on Instagram where the screen gets super bright when you see certain videos on reels um, and you see just a lot more brightness and value and contrast in color. Well, this video, the, the sun is blown out. Nothing's looking right. This is not looking right. Well, what we can do is in the sequence settings, check that we're in the 709 color space. Um, so what we need to do is we need to tone map that media to 709. It's gonna retone the fancy set of curves and bring it back into 709. Just hit okay. You'll see that it is now normal 709 footage. It's been adjusted. You'll see the sunset looks super nice now and we can do some color to it. Um, this is also, I believe from uh, the latest iPhone, uh, so the, the color is manageable and see it just looks way better uh, and within the brightness values. So again, if I turn off that tone mapping here, the sun will become blown out, everything will look bad, and if I turn it back on, the sun will look great and nice and toned and what it looks like closer to when viewing on an OLED HDR monitor like your iPhone, which is an OLED HDR monitor, but without the brightness because the screens we're working on are 709. So what happens then if we try to work in a HLG or a HDR timeline, Hyperlog Gamma or Rec 2100 without the tone mapping on? Well, what could happen is, is that you accidentally take this footage and create a new sequence and you'll notice that, oh that looks kind of okay it's not blown out but if you go in the sequence settings oh it's the native footage it's rec 2100 now um, HLG and it's tone mapped if we try to export this watch what happens boom it's way too bright it's nasty so you see we're just trying to send a HLG HDR footage to a 7 on rec 709 file and it's blown out. So you got to make sure you're working in a 709 sequence if you bring that footage in and tone map it. And then everything will be correct. And see, it brought some of that color back and kept the brightness values down. So uh, you're and when we export, see, looks correct. That's how you can mix footage with footage that's HDR from these new cell phones. Um, you can mix it with footage that's, you know, S-Log3. Everything will play together nicely. There are ways to take S-Log3 footage and make it HDR. Uh, that's a whole other tutorial, uh, but we're not delivering for HDR here. We're delivering for Rec. 709. It's most people's monitors. Um, we're not creating Netflix content or anything like that. So we're going to stay in the 709 workspace. All right, hope this helps.